Hi, welcome back to another video. So a while back I've created a home automation system based on the home assistant platform. It is really cool and I've made an awesome wall panel for controlling the whole system. If you haven't seen it, give it a look as I show all the system components and explain the details of why I've chosen this setup. I'm always looking out for new gizmos and interesting technologies. And not long ago I found a brand of smart home devices called Sunoff. Though it has a Zigbee line of products, I'm mostly interested in the Wi-Fi ones, since there is no need for extra hardware or gateways. They have several solutions for switches, wall switches, smart plugs and also lighting solutions. They even have this lamp holder that is basically a Wi-Fi switch in the form of an E27 base, which stays in series between the lamp and the bulb, which is a smart idea. Oh, it also integrates with Alexa and Google Assistant if you are into that voice recognition thing. I'm not. I have a use for a Wi-Fi controllable wall plug switch in my son's room. We already have a Mijia bedside lamp integrated in Home Assistant, but we also have a lamp on top of a dresser that could be nice to control remotely as well. The switch I've selected is this Sunoff S26 and I've ordered it from Banggood as it was the best deal I could find. The packaging is rather minimalistic but good enough and includes a short manual to teach you how to use it. First, you need to download and install the eWillink app, available for both iOS and Android devices, and create an account. Then you need to insert the plug in a wall socket. To enter pairing mode, just press the button for about 7 seconds and you'll notice a different LED blinking pattern as soon as this mode is engaged. Then, you just need to add your device in the app. It's important to choose a 2.4 GHz network as it does not work with 5 GHz Wi-Fi and you need to enter your network SSID and security key. Also, make sure that the SSID has only numbers and letters. My main network has some dots in the SSID and I had some issues connecting to it. Nevertheless, it's always better to use a dedicated network for these devices, so I have created a guest network in my router specific for the smart home systems. After the app discovers the device, just give it a name and you're good to go. You can also set up zones and rooms in the app, but since I will be mostly using Home Assistant to control the switch, I didn't bother. You can now test if the switch works, and apart from the light you should hear the relay triggering. The Home Assistant integration is really easy, mostly due to the work of Peter Buga. This guy did an awesome job, and it's as easy as downloading the zip file from GitHub, which you can find in the link below, and putting the files in the right directory. There are other methods that require refreshing the devices, but I found this one quite easy to work with. Then, you just need to add the login information to the Home Assistant configuration file, and it's done. In my case, I did an extra step. I wanted to be able to turn both the bedside lamp and this lamp at the same time, so I created two simple automations. Basically, one automation turns the bedside lamp on when the switch is turned on, the other turns off the bedside lamp when the switch is turned off. Maybe there is a better way to make this using toggle triggers, but I'm still quite new to automations and this works fine. And here it is, it just took me a couple of hours, but now I can easily integrate additional son off switches, which is really cool and opens up a lot of possibilities. Well, I hope you liked this short video and if so, please consider subscribing and smashing that thumbs up button, it will sure help me a lot. Also. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as I normally post sneak peeks of what I'm working on. I also have other projects that you might like, such as shop projects and some woodworking videos. Give it a look if you're into that kind of stuff as well. See you in the next video and take care out there!